Illinois Republicans like Shirley Prescott are turning on one of their own. We are mad. We are furious. We will never vote for him again. The focus of their anger is Congressman Adam Kinzinger. The Republican Party has lost its way. Kinzinger voted to impeach former President Donald Trump after a mob of his supporters assaulted the U.S. Capitol January 6th. And wants the Republican Party to expunge Trump's brand of politics. By poisonous conspiracies and lies. This is not the Republican road. Our congressman is, uh, in our opinion, gone off the rails and said things that we don't agree with. The county Republican Party in Kinzinger's district recently voted to censure him. What he's been saying about our former president and his supporters and a lot of conservative Republicans is not okay. But local Republican opinion is not unified. Proud to be a Republican. I can't see anyone saying that right now. After what has happened, I can't see it. I, who could be proud of, of this, of these people running around in red hats and, and being mean to other people for no reason other than they don't love Trump? Thornton and Smith's opposing views illustrate a growing fault line in a party where tens of millions of voters remain intensely loyal to a former president many others view as toxic. Now an independent, Thornton nevertheless backs Kinzinger and nine other Republican lawmakers in the House who voted to make Trump the first U.S. president twice impeached. It did take courage. It did. It could also put political careers in jeopardy. Larry Smith wants Republicans to replace Kinzinger in the next election cycle. Kinzinger has earned himself a primary. This kind of schism over the loyalty to Trump, I think, creates the opportunity for potentially more primary challengers. Northwestern University's Laurel Harbridge Young says banishing anti-Trump Republicans could make the party less palatable to the general voting public. It points to how members are more focused on a small number of people in their constituency, uh, their primary electorate, and even within that this kind of ardent base. Um, whose interests may not be the same as the rest of their constituents. Susan Thornton welcomes Kinzinger's battle to reform the party, but says more is needed before she would consider herself a Republican again. They would have to disavow Trump as a leader, as their messenger, because his message is not acceptable to me. Uh, we'd have to get back to decency and respect. Trump loyalists say they are planning more events across the United States targeting lawmakers like Kinzinger, pledging to reshape the party in Trump's image, one primary election at a time. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Ottawa, Illinois. Governor Pritzker's office would say, hey, this is not right. And when they hear from people out there,